Yo guys, Kurt Rivian here. Welcome to my new video. As you can hear, I'm making this video with my actual voice this time. That has been requested by multiple people and I think the time's right now. So today I'm going to make a winter cabin. You had a little sneak peek behind me already. But I got the idea from Angus Anderson. The time was pretty perfect as the winter is almost here in real life. So I really liked that. This video took me quite some time to make, but I really loved it, so I'm planning to do more projects like this in the future. If you like that, please lightly tap that subscribe button, that would mean the world to me. But let's start building right now! I started out with the terrain. Normally I have terrain already, because I'm building in a town or somewhere that already exists. But this time it was a winter terrain and those are pretty rare, so I made my own. I started out with a stone template and then started working on the world edit stuff. But after I had the train I of course had to make a road, because why would you have a house without a road? Well, there are houses in, in some places that don't have it, but I would like to have one, so I made it. And some power lines. By the way, if you want to visit this build, all information is in the description. After that I got some trees, made them snowy and pasted them all over the map. When I was done with the train I really liked it so I started on the porch from the cabin. This would be the main entrance and I made it of stone. And I actually got my inspiration from one picture and you have obviously seen that already because that's in the thumbnail. But here it is. And I really like the stone base with the wooden um, cabin and then snow on top. So that's what I did here. The reference house has a big round window on the side and I really love that. So I put it on this one as you can see here. I made the roof out of snow because that's pretty much how every roof looks with snow on top, so why not make it completely out of snow. What I'm making right now are the rooms where the bedrooms will be. This right here will be the kitchen and the dining area that will stick out and the dining area will have a big window. I made the snow on top look a little bit more like snow. So now we're at the part where we started off, the campfire. I really love this part. But it has to be connected to the house, so I made a path and the stairs to the house connected to the road. In the wood storage I used campfires that were burned out as leftover pieces of wood next to the actual logs. While I was working on the path, sadly the server crashed, so I had to redo the whole thing. It doesn't matter because it's really small, but still, that happens sometimes. So for the inside I made the floor out of wood and all the walls also because that gives that cabin feeling. I made sure you can't see the snow roof anymore. And here's the kitchen. It was a really tight space but I managed to get most of the things in there that a normal kitchen has. I wanted to go for prismarine colors, so that's why I made it out of that. This here is the dining area. And next to that will be the spiral staircase to the master bedroom, because you have to get up there some way. To light it all up I made a candle. 
wasn't happy with the kitchen, so that's why I changed the color. Here's the main seating area. And I wanted some art, so I made it in a blue color. Next up is the bedroom. This is the master bedroom, so I made a really big bed. And some storage space. And to light it up, another candle on the ceiling. Next up are the two bedrooms downstairs for the other people that are staying in this cabin. I wanted to keep it simple, so I made it just the two beds and a little storage. It is connected to the bathroom from both sides, so you can get in there from the bedroom and from the main area. So, it's now finished. Let's go around the whole build and see what we have made. This is where we start the whole video out and my favorite place, the fireplace. I just love the details with the wood and the, and the cute campfire. That's a really lovely block to have in the game, by the way. Then I added this road with the stones as little details and all the lights to guide you if you are going to walk there in the night. This is the road with the power lines and such. And I really love this view as you look down from the road to the house. Of course, you have to think away the plots behind that, but if you leave that out, I really love it. If you go inside the house, you will see this beautiful porch with the door, of course, and then you go into the main area. It's really, really well lit, actually. I love that. And that's also because I made a lot of lighting sources. Also, there are so much windows that it's just open all the time and there will be sunlight that comes in. Now let's see the bathroom. It's small, but it has everything, so it's functional. And, and personally, I think it's really cool. This is the storage area for the bedroom and the two beds for the people that live here. Actually, the server crashed again here, so that's why it cuts. And of course, we have to see the master bedroom with the stairs. Let's go up. I love how you can just look down to the main area from the master bedroom. It gives such an open feeling to the house and it still feels like a really big bedroom. So, I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. I really enjoyed this build. It took me quite some time, but it was all worth it because the end product was so nice. And I want to do more projects like this in the future. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. That would absolutely mean the world to me, as I said earlier. And if you made it this far, you might as well check out the build on the server. All information is in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.